What kind of future awaits us? In the next 30 years, most of the work that we know today, will operate robots. Experts predict that humanity encounters with a great challenge. How to find meaning in life, once the work is no longer needed. With the development of techniques many things and many jobs will become much easier and more accessible. We already have smartphones, smart homes and even smart cities that help us in all. Robots will replace humans, machines will do everything, and we will have free time for our activities. Scientists were able to create a military robot that climbs the stairs, run and do push-ups. The robots, which are weight and height of the average man will move like a real person, will also imitate and humans sweat when it is exposed to high temperatures thanks to special sensors. Most of the professionals from the middle class will be replaced by robots in the next few decades, and people will get more free time than ever before. Man lives a short life and it should be used for pleasure, joy and possibly for intellectual work, not to destroy the organism with difficult and lengthy business. About all this within the pedagogy it is established a special branch pedagogy of free time a special branch of pedagogy, studying educational issues of free time, elaborates its theoretical views and principles, examines research results, proposed content, forms and methods, provides incentives for quality use of leisure time and trains staff to work on this areas, deals with the problem of education in free time. The result is a shortening of working hours under the influence of scientific technological revolution and changes in the character of human labor. Today, free time becomes a goal, education for leisure. And the means, education in free time, not self-education, but also the entire life of man, this issue deals with pedagogy, and andragogy free time. The human race might finally able to realize the dream of economist John Maynard Keynes, who in 1930 predicted that we will within the next 100 years, thanks to technology, to shorten the working week to just 15 hours, while the rest of the time it will remain only for us. Whether be faced with this question before it is put in front of us, if machines are capable of doing most of the jobs that people are doing, then what people will do? Are we sure that the technology we are developing, improves mankind? The cheapest and most productive thing to do is to automate workforce, and if productivity is what shareholders are looking for, then we come to mass unemployment. Robots will take your job, those who retain their work position will work more for the same salary, mobile robots and smart computers will replace up to half and more of the U.S. workforce in the next 10 to 20 years, show scientific research. None of the technological progress that has increased the production has not enabled that workers work less for the same money, oppose it from that is, a few workers work as long as before, while rest of the people remain, jobless. More than 700 occupations are in danger of disappearing due to the computerized automation. Step by step the robots will take over all the tasks. This existed before, however, today technological changes are happening much more faster. Information and technological revolution has already made a deep mark on the labor market throughout the world. Robots and computers taking over the business, routine duties easily understandable for their electric brains. But so far even the most powerful computers could not make more than one barrier, that means, they did only what they were programmed. Thanks to this, many jobs remain as an exclusive right of the people, but only until recently. Scientists are convinced that will rapidly expand the reach of artificial manpower thanks to progress of programmed learning. One of the branches of artificial intelligence is working on it that robots will learn from their own experience, same like people does. 
currently most vulnerable interest is, loan officer because there are already programs that recognize the safe from the unsafe debtor in addition to constantly renew their understanding of who is credit for the workers in retail, fast food, are also in danger of being replaced by robots or automated systems, many shops and restaurants already have the service ordering and payment via mobile device which reduces the need for cashiers, waiters and sellers. Also most endangered professions are, loan officer, receptionist, in Singapore presented humanoid robot that will work as a receptionist at the university, which he made, legal assistant, salesman, driver and taxi driver, guard, cook, bartender, reporter and correspondent and even musicians. There are similar examples around the world, and there will be more and more, and they will work harder and more complicated tasks. What implications this will have for mankind? In the next 30 years, robots will take us most of the professions. Development of the robot will lead to an unemployment rate higher than 50%. We come to the time when robots will most tasks and activities be able to do better than people. Robots are doing more and more tasks that were previously performed by people. Robots and artificial intelligence today can work almost all the jobs of low-skilled workers. Let me give you just a few examples. For picking grapes for two and a half acres will need 120 workers. All of these 120 workers will be replaced by a machine, which means if one man operated machine, then 119 people will lose their jobs. Or, in every supermarket, retailers will be replaced by automatic cash register. I cannot even imagine how little would be people as workers. Or, only one computerized program can replace the thousands of bank officers. Robots in the West slowly takes positions as administrators, travel agents, accountants, secretaries, musicians, there is evidence that computers will be able to repeat the creative assignments or will even learn to make music or write novels. Even lawyers were no longer sure that they will not be replaced by the competitors in the form of robots. Also architects are increasingly vulnerable. Robotic cars are now in all the media, but in a few years will be on all roads. Radiologists are increasingly replacing software algorithms, a diagnostician, also computers. For business could soon fear and journalists. As experts predict, drones, recording the required material from the air, or the entire network structure, camera systems, analyzes, etc., that could become the basis on which it is written stories and news. The most vulnerable are sports journalists, their reports will in the near future, without major problems to be monitored by computer systems. Experts of informatics quite seriously announcing and virtual courts where the trial takes place, and the cost would be much lower. Or rather, robots will take the workplaces. Future jobs will soon be survival of those most adaptable. This means that the workforce will be forced to switch to work part-time and no permanent engagement. This will isolate the part of the population that are not able to continuously adapt and train. We cannot all be intellectual workers. Therefore, will be the millions of unemployed and those people will not help anyone, nor will a be a concern whether they have to eat. We're getting a company with mass unemployment or a society of leisure. 
According Howling Economic Analysis, the world is on the threshold of the fourth industrial revolution, because of that in the next 20 years, nearly half of humanity will remain unemployed. We can say that we are expecting a very difficult future. Thanks for watching. If you want to support my work please click like and subscribe.